guys just making my coffee to take to the woods with me. <laughs> Dorian is so ready to go. Um, but yeah, I'm just making my coffee. Gonna have it while on our walk. Look at that foam. I actually bought uh, three packs of uh, Alpro Barista oat milk because it's my favorite. And I'm so happy now. I have so much oat milk. And last night I did my nails to kind of match my milk frother. Yes, we're going. And I went for my favorite Velvet Agate, this uh, soft baby pink. Because I had black nails previously, black gel, and my nails had grown so long, so I filed them down a little bit. Um, I like this length on me now. But yeah, let's take my coffee. Oh, by the way, a little update. I bought this coffee uh, from... I ordered it on Grind. <gasps> All right. Okay, starting over <laughs> with my coffee. It's what happens when you do everything with one hand. So I'm currently having this La New Guinea uh, coffee, which I really like. Um, and yesterday I ordered uh, some new coffee from new coffee pods from Nespresso. As they released uh, new coffees from different cities of the world. So I'll show you what I ordered and uh, yeah, I really like this loft one, but I was talking about this grind coffee, which I ordered from Shoreditch, London, from grind website. And it's basically uh, compostable coffee pods. And this coffee is so bad. I absolutely hated it. Um, you get 20 pods in here. And the only reason I have three left, I had one pod, is because Rokas, my boyfriend, drinks this coffee. He said it's okay to him. I hated this coffee. And I actually ordered two of those tins. So one for me and one as a Christmas present for my friend Christina. If you're watching, one of these is for you. But I'm so worried to gift it to her because of how much I hated this coffee. At least the tin is cute, so I might keep it for storage. This is Husky uh, cup. It's not a thermo, so it doesn't keep your coffee warm, but it's great for having coffee on the go. And it's also um, recycled, made of recycled materials. It's so, so good. I used to drink coffee with um, almond milk, but I kind of got over it. It's a little too sweet. Oat milk is just perfect. This is my outfit for a walk. Uh, I'm taking my bag with me because um, I have to pick up um, parcel on the way. So yeah, it's casual till um, my cap is from Pretty Little Thing. Um, this hoodie. Will I spill my coffee now or not? Let's hope not. Um, this hoodie, you guys saw me wear a lot. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's from Dumps and Matter. And you guys might remember I have it in another color as well, but I love this one so much. It's super warm. And underneath I have a t-shirt and then like a thermal long sleeve top because it's not trench coat weather. And this is a vintage men's caught on a uh, trench coat, Lindex rib trousers, and I have leggings underneath them, and my Zara rain boots. The best boots ever. Like these rain boots and these platform shoes from Zara are the two best shoe purchases I made ever. I absolutely love them. My bag is from Lindex. It was gifted as well. Uh, it's so gorgeous. I love I love this bag so much. I love the shape of it, how slouchy it is. And uh, I'm gonna put my mask on and off we go. Look at Dorian's coat, so cute. This is the forest. Okay, I cannot even vlog, it's so pretty. By the way guys, in Vilnius, there hasn't been ditch this, this much snow in 15 years uh it's crazy cars are burning under the snow basically um oh my god 
this is just too much i love that this walk is pretty much always empty well there are a few people here and there but it's usually so quiet and i cannot wait for rockers to be back so we could take our coffees and come here for walks with dorian because dorian is the happiest either on the beach or in the woods like he's running around now like crazy and then he goes he eats and goes to sleep straight away so <laughs> he's usually exhausted when we get back home which is good good for him good for me um and uh, yeah, Rogas had to go back to Vilnius uh, for a few days to run some errands, but he'll be back. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> okay, so I picked up my order. Basically, all the shops are closed, obviously, but you can um, buy online and come to the shop to pick it up. So I'll show you guys when I get back home what I got. Um, then I really wanted some fresh flowers, so I got uh, nine white tulips they will be so pretty when they open up uh, Twix to go with my coffee got some razor um, heads actually I'm gonna talk about razors because I'm using a sustainable razor but I don't like it as much and I got food for Dorian this food is incredible like it has amazing ingredients only uh, vegetables, meat, and it's just amazing. Moon Ranger. Gonna put you right here. Remember, guys, um, when I was making my coffee, I said that I ordered some Nespresso coffee and it arrived today. I just picked it up. So I'm gonna open these two boxes, show you guys what I got, and then I'm gonna go have a shower and then have my breakfast. And on the way home, I stopped uh, to get some oats. Actually, three bags of oats. And Rogus and I often have oatmeal for brekkie. Um, and then I also needed some new tea and I absolutely love puka tea. This is my favorite because you actually get five different ones in the box. And then I also got Love Tea, which has heartwarming touch of rose, chamomile, and lavender. Um, and I love their nighttime tea, uh, which you get in this box as well. So yeah, some new tea. I love fresh flowers so much. They just add such a lovely touch to your home. Look how beautiful. And they will be even more gorgeous when they open up. Dorian just had a little bath. He's gonna snooze now. Okay, so I got from the new world explorations collection i got um, tokyo vivalto lungo uh, and then this is buenos aires lungo coffee as well and then i bought their uh, set of barista coffee because i had which one did i have before i had Skura, I want to say. Yeah, I had Skura before and I really liked it. So I got the set which includes Skura, um, Corto and Chiaro. Um, yeah, so different intensities. And now I'm going to have lots of lovely coffee. And then I also got a recycling bag because... Um, my other one is already full. Now let's open my Orocos box. I just ordered my hair dye because um, 
color out of it, Mom and I. This is the one that I use, Garnier 10.1 Ashy Very Light Blonde. My favorite color. Then I ordered some Jordan toothbrushes. I use my Philips electric toothbrush, but sometimes I like to use a basic one like this. I then needed a new bottle of fake tan. San Moritz is now my favorite fake tan ever. The best color, it doesn't stink. It's just amazing and it lasts really long. Um, so I used just a simple original one, but this time I bought fast tan. It says 60 minute tan and you can get a more intense tan the longer you keep it on your skin. So I'm gonna try it tonight, I think. And then they included uh, a gift, Essence Glow To Go Highlighter Palette. So that's nice. By the way, one last thing before I shower. I said I'm gonna talk about razors. So I just got um, these razor heads from Gillette. But I do have this one by Slowly. This razor was a gift. It's beautiful, rose gold, and basically you just change the blades um so i like it i like the idea uh it's plastic free it's gonna last you forever like a lifetime but it doesn't give you a good clean shave and to me that's important and i feel like you have to be very careful with it i worry that i might cut myself um every time i shave i didn't cut myself with it and i used it twice already but I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 not a very clean shave. Um, I'm much more comfortable using my Gillette razors, and they have more blades. Obviously, this is just one blade. These ones have three, but my favorite are with five, I believe. Then you get a super nice clean shave. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I can recommend it. I, I guess yeah, it's good for the environment, but. You have to be pretty cautious with it and the result is not the best to me personally. So I just had my shower. Um, you know guys, by the way, I received another box while I was in the shower. Uh, the delivery guy called me, said, are you home? I have a package for you. I said, yes I am and I jumped out of the shower and um, this is a box from Sapir Beauty. Uh, you guys might remember, I, it's a Latvian brand, beautiful um, Latvian brand that uses lots of natural ingredients. Ooh, there's a leaflet. All about their skincare products. GMO free, no testing on animals, carbon free, sulfate free, made in European Union, natural colors. Um, it's a really really lovely brand. I love their uh, their serums and their supplements that I use in smoothies and I really want to get um, a cocktail shaker or like a like a nutter bullet or something and I was doing research the other day um, I'm thinking should I get a neutral bullet or should I get a bigger cocktail shaker? Make homemade ice cream, uh, smoothie bowls. So I'm unsure. Do you guys have any recommendations? I found one, I think from Philips and another one, can't remember the brand now. Um, and neutral bullet also is an option. So let me know in the comment section if you have any good recommendations. Not too expensive. I don't want to spend more than 100 euros on a cocktail maker blender thingy. But I want a good quality one. So anyway, mm, they have included some samples for me here, which is nice. So they have a new range called Urban Life. And yeah, it's a brand that I really, really like and I am so happy they're working with me again. Um, and I chose some new products to try from them. Everything is so beautifully packaged. This is Ageless Face Peeling. I wanted something, my skin is going through weird phases right now. I have little breakouts, it's improving now, but I wanted a face peeling that was gentle. Urban Life Protecting Face Mist. Um, yeah, I really wanted a 
a new face mask. Mmm, smells really nice. And then I got Vitalizing Day Cream from the Urban Life line and a relaxing eye cream. So I'm gonna use them right now, actually. Let's see what the texture feels like. Oh, it feels very balmy. It is nice. It's not greasy at all, not too rich. Just feels kind of plumping, like a plumping gel. And then I'm gonna use the eye cream. So this is sort of like first impression video. Um, but I'm gonna test them out for a little... Oh, I pumped a little too much. But I need lots of hydration on my under eye area because my skin is so dry due to the heating obviously so I need something refreshing and plumping. I'll be testing them out for a while and then I will um, film an IGTV video talking about these products in depth and gonna tell you guys um, my thoughts on them. So thank you Sapio for these new babies and I really miss vlogging and when I don't vlog for a while I have so many things to talk about, lots of new PR things and uh, lots of things that I buy myself, new things that I have tried. So the vlog after a while feels like one big ad. Oh and by the way guys, they have kindly uh, given me a coupon code which is my last name, Maslowskaite, um, so you'll get 30% off on everything, all of their products on their website with the the code. So I think that's amazing, especially for supplements. Yesterday a new cookbook arrived. I'm gonna grab it now. Here it is. Look how beautiful this book is. Absolutely in love with it. Um, it's by Dvitilas, my favorite publishing house ever. I have um, a few books by them. Um, this one I actually bought myself. Uh, Yulia is someone that I have met in real life a couple of times and she's such a lovely person. She's a model and a chef. Um, Yulia Stepanovichuta, if you don't know her. Um, and yeah, she just released this cookbook with Dvit Tilas and this one is actually signed by her for me. Um, it's a very lovely note. So Yulia has her personal Instagram and then she also has uh, Kitchen Julie Instagram. So definitely check it out because she does posts in Lithuanian and in English. Um, so if you're not Lithuanian, you can easily follow um, her recipes. And all of her recipes seem very simple, but sort of earthy natural, yummy and very homely. Like there's something so homely and warm about her, her food. I really wanted to get her book. And yesterday I looked through all of the recipes and they all seem, as I said, super easy to make, simple and very sort of nostalgic. There's something very homely and nostalgic about them and she even has a recipe for kimchi which I'm excited about because I've always wanted to try making kimchi um, myself. So here it is, her uh, kimchi. So I'm gonna try making that and um, yeah, she's got a recipe on how to make a perfect matcha. Uh, it's not vegan or vegetarian. Um, there are meat recipes, but there are also some uh, vegetarian options as well. So yeah, overall, it's a very beautiful book. Big congratulations to Yulia on releasing it. I actually pre-ordered this book way before Christmas and it just arrived because obviously of the hectic um, Christmas period and quarantine and whatnot. So I'm very happy to finally have it here with me. I'm gonna try and cook something and maybe vlog while cooking from this book. Um, and then what else? Oh, I also wanted to show you guys a new piece of furniture that I was kindly gifted. So here it is. It is by Lithuanian furniture designer Petra Madalana. You can find her on Instagram and she does very different, unique and very special pieces of furniture. 
What I love about it is the wood, look how intricate the texture of it is. And it's open like that. So it's actually a bedside table or you can use it as a coffee table and it's got marble top. It arrived in a massive box and I'm so surprised that um, marble is intact because obviously it can go really badly you know while delivering marble pieces so yeah thank you so so much to the designer of this piece for gifting it to me so i decided to put this um little side table or coffee table right here next to my sofa and i really like how it looks i've got a poetry book here and some candles so then i'm gonna make an oatmeal but I decided otherwise. I'm gonna show you something else that I had for breakfast a couple of days ago. That's amazing. You guys have to try it, you're gonna love it. By the way, I look so pale, I need to use some fake tan. And then yeah, I have lots of new clothing pieces from Lindex that I wanna show you guys, but it's just I got too much to share and show you guys. I think I'll vlog tomorrow and show them to you um, try them on in tomorrow's vlog. I also placed a big Zara order um, a couple of days ago. I have an idea of doing um, my Zara haul, trying everything on and having Rokas um, rate the pieces. So I think that might be entertaining knowing his opinion on everything. So I'm gonna film that next week when he's back. Um, and yeah, let's make my breakfast now just managed to make a big mess here okay so i said i'll show you guys how to make this breakfast so you have to boil two eggs they have to be hard boiled my eggs are done now i have to um, pour cold water on them and then peel them then you're gonna need some mayo bread some cheese grated cheese um i'm gonna have to grate it myself some dill and spring onion Grate the cheese. I'm gonna peel my eggs now. Making my new coffee, Buenos Aires. So let's see what it tastes like. You can use any oil you like, but I prefer using um, truffle oil to add that truffle flavor to my sandwiches. And by the way, did I tell you guys that this was inspired by Auxe? It's not my recipe. She sent me a picture of this breakfast a couple days ago and I tried it. I was like, oh my god, this is so good. So it's thanks to Auxe. Well, we did actually grow up eating this. It's called Picantos Casalotos and we would have it um, on a piece of toast. But this is like an updated version of that. I'm gonna chop my eggs. Added two tablespoons of mayo in here and I'm gonna pop the eggs in as well. Now you simply have to mix everything and uh, to turn it into picante casalotas you have to add a little bit of garlic as well. So you can add garlic in here if you want to but I'm not gonna do that. And then basically put it on your bread and put another loaf of bread on top and in the frying pan it goes. So it has to be nice and golden on both sides. Okay, that's it. Now slice it. Look at that. Yum. They're so good. You guys definitely have to try them. So I bought this toy for Dorian and it's really cute watching him <laughs> trying to get all of the treats out. I basically put little treats inside each compartment and yeah, he's, he's trying to find them. I'm gonna 
put it on the floor. I have to close because sometimes he cannot open the other ones. Shonwalis, Turuk! Shonwalis! Tarralika! There are two more in here. He'll get it. Yes, he got it. He's trying to check if they're all empty. Stop. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. <laughs> Gonna have oatmeal for breakfast today. Please don't mind my blotchy fake tan hands. I do my oatmeal with oat milk or almond milk and add a little bit of salt. Okay, the container is good, but I kind of spill oats everywhere now. Um, I think I need to have a little scoop or something. Gonna chop and add a banana. Add in my oats. Alexa, set the timer for eight minutes. For how long? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Starting now. Alexa, stop. So now I'm just gonna leave my porridge for a few minutes to sit. Um, turn off the fire. I like to add blueberries. I'm gonna use um, sweet yellow kiwi coconut chips and dried soft bananas and of course you guys might know I love condensed milk so I just drizzle that on top for extra sweetness I really miss summer and just picking berries in the garden for breakfast these bananas are so yummy my favorites were mangoes from um, Amrita Planet but the bananas are amazing as well. They're a great snack. They're very chewy, so if you like um, gummies, jelly gums, they're a great healthy option. So this is what it looks like. It tastes amazing. So now I'm gonna make my coffee. Today I wanna try Tokyo coffee because I tried Buenos Aires yesterday and it was really good. Let's go with Tokyo today. Dorian is sleeping. Uh, we had our walk. It's the weekend today, so I'm cleaning the home, doing laundry. Um, vacuumed already gonna mop the floors now and i bought this new fabric softener from lenore and it smells amazing uh, so now wash my towels now I'm gonna pop in this white jumper in here as well These pods already have fabric softener in them, but I love my laundry to smell extra good. So I'm gonna use this. I actually really like these as well. This is washing gel and fabric conditioner from Soul Drops.
you guys here to my bathroom with me um, while I'll do my makeup because I want to talk about a few products so the Sapia moisturizer yesterday the whole day I was looking at my skin I was like I look so dewy and my skin is looking so glowy and hydrated so I feel like I look kind of orange on camera right now because of this fake tan so gonna give you an update i did not like it i used it last night uh, applied it all over my skin and went to sleep i had a light layer of um, body lotion on so maybe i didn't exfoliate and moisturize my skin well enough beforehand but this applied so streaky and patchy and it just looks horrible on my skin like can you see my arms there the tan is so uneven like I don't get it I applied it really evenly with a tanning mitt and it's just I don't know it looks very streaky and uneven some parts are still my skin colors some are tanned it's horrible so I don't know uh, maybe the formula is different because it's um, fast tan. I really really like the original one So I'm not gonna repurchase the fast tan. Another body related thing these soaps from Zara home If you have Zara home where you live, oh my god Wait a second. I'm gonna grab another one to pick this one up from my kitchen So basilicum I use in the kitchen. It smells like basil. It's very fresh and this one is Palo Santo scent and I love The scent of Palo Santo. It just smells like that again. It's that warm woodsy smell Oh, It's amazing and Zara has a body wash a big bottle of body wash so i really wanted to repurchase these two and the body wash unfortunately lithuanian zara home doesn't have these online only in the physical stores and obviously all of the physical stores are closed now and i'm halfway through the palo santo one and it's incredible and we only have um zara home in vilnius so once uh, the pandemic is over and we can shop. I'm gonna repurchase both of those. I'm just applying some concealer on my skin. I'm gonna use Glossier Skin Tint just because I don't want too much coverage. I need something light, lightweight, and this is a um, pretty nice dewy product. I cannot look at myself, I'm so orange today with that fake tan. So I'm not even sure, should I apply another layer to even it out or just take a bath and scrub everything off? Probably gonna do the latter. Some new makeup products are on the way to me um, from Armani and I'm excited to try them. Some new releases. So. I think I'm gonna show you guys on camera these products when they arrive and like how I use them. We're all staying home so for months I haven't really worn makeup. I will wear it maybe once a week or something. Um, it does make me feel better about myself and like more put together. Sometimes I just cannot be bothered and I think like I'm okay being my natural self. I'm gonna apply a little bit of Dior blusher. Normally I use cream products but I kinda miss using powder blushes and bronzers. I'm gonna use my Living Luminizer by RMS. Just a lovely cream highlighter. Still loving these Maybelline lip glosses. Um, hyaluronic something something. Hyaluronic acid gloss. This one is in pearl. It's got glitter in it. Makeup is done. I'm gonna use a little bit of um, my hair oil 
run it through my hair. Add a little trim so it's a little shorter. Um, I was going through a phase where I really wanted to have shorter hair and I cut it a little bit but now I want to grow my hair super long. I don't know what happened, I just want a really long hair. You guys know I always used to have super long hair but lately it's been this length for quite a while which is nice it's easy to style i don't want it any shorter like it's just not me i don't feel like myself i mean yeah it's cute but now i just want really long hair i don't know i go through phases with hair my fresh laundry is in here and my whole bathroom smells incredible that's because of that Lenore fabric softener. I love it. it. Smells so, so good. Lenore, you can sponsor me. <laughs> okay, I told you guys yesterday that I was going to show you my new Lindex pieces. Um, and everything is so beautiful. I'm so happy with every piece. So let me show you. But before I do that, I want to talk about some new jewelry. So. Um, I'm partnered with Daniel Wellington again this year and they have just released a new collection called Ellen Unity for Valentine's Day. And it's really elegant, super timeless. I'm wearing one of the pieces already, which is this beautiful necklace of interconnected rings. And I chose it in silver. You guys know that I wear gold all the time, but they have an option for rose gold or silver. I personally don't wear rose gold, but I like mixing gold with silver. So I thought I could wear, um, you know, my usual gold necklaces and pair them with a, like a little dainty silver one like this. Um, so look at the packaging. This is what it looks like for Valentine's Day. It's all about celebrating love and connection, um, being connected with your loved ones, your best friend, your family member, uh, your lover, it doesn't really matter. Whatever that is, it could be your dog. I'm very connected to my dog, he's like my shadow. Um, and my boyfriend, of course. So I think it's really sweet, like you can gift each other. Uh, because these are sort of unisex pieces, I would say. I mean, I could definitely see a guy wear a necklace like this. Um, maybe not rose gold, but a silver one, definitely. Um, it could be your love necklaces. And uh, I chose a new watch. I have the exact same watch uh, with a black face. And I'm gonna have a silver one with a white face. At the moment, this is one of my favorite Daniel Wellington uh, watch models as you can see it's quite a big chunky watch and it's from men's collection and I love how it has matte and then in the middle it has shiny links it fits my wrist perfectly and yeah I just love how it looks this watch is very minimal but very chic at the same time it looks like a very expensive um, watch so the black one looks even more grungy and Tough and masculine. I love it when I'm wearing lots of black, um, my leather jacket, then I put um, the silver one with a black face. So this will be for when I'm wearing like cream or like, as I said, lighter outfits. And then from the same Unity collection, I have a bracelet to match the necklace. So this is what it looks like. And it's got Daniel Wellington writing on it as well. I'm gonna take it out, show you guys how you could wear it with a watch. So you could wear the bracelet with a watch and just stack them together like this. But I personally like um, the look of just a watch, no bracelet. As I said, you could definitely do this. Combine them together. I'm just gonna keep the necklace. It's super simple. And how beautiful is this watch? And I just removed my black gel nails, so they sort of match the watch now. And since we're all staying home, I think 
wearing this jewelry and watch sort of elevates your look a little bit even if you're at home in your cozy loungewear. I love um, big fluffy jumpers like this and I can never ever be without my jewelry even if I'm at home. Um, I feel like they sort of lift my spirits and um, I don't know make me feel better. So up until Valentine's Day until the 14th of February you can get 10% off if you buy two pieces from um, Daniel Wellington website so it can be a watch and a bracelet a watch and a necklace or just a necklace and uh, a bracelet a ring anything that you want um, and yeah you'll get 10% off and then on top of that uh, you can use my code Chanelette and it will give you an extra 15% off so I think that's amazing if you want to buy like friendship necklaces for your best friend or like, your boyfriend or like your man, your girl, doesn't really matter. I think um, that's really nice. You can get 25% off and get a super cute gift for Valentine's Day. And I love the packaging as well. It's like super minimal, but looks very expensive and very pretty. So yeah, you can treat someone and send them a little gift. So now let's move on to my Lindex pieces. So the first one is this cozy jumper that I'm wearing. Um, I absolutely love it. It's so fluffy, super stretchy, and yeah, it's just it's just coziness epitomized. By the way, I got a couple pieces from Lindex when I went to Vilnius to their showroom. I can't remember how many pieces did I pick then, but this was one of them and I love it. Um, this is a shirt, but it's like, like this. Look at the texture, it's amazing. So I personally wear it tucked into high-waisted jeans, or you can wear it open like this with just like a white tank top, jeans, this on top. Um, I love it. It's amazing. I mean, I love this texture. And another thing that I picked up then that I couldn't stop wearing is this cardigan. And again, it looks very, very chic um, with just jeans, black chunky boots, just like a big scarf. Super nice and cozy for winter. Then I picked up um, this nude t-shirt in size small and it's got shoulder pads so this will look amazing again high-waisted black jeans belt and this tucked in it's gonna give you that minimal but sort of powerful look because of the shoulder pads i think it will look very cool with um big chunky chains then another thing is this jacket Oh my god, I fell in love with it when I saw it. I personally love jackets like this at the moment. They're everywhere in lots of different colors. And they're actually a great layering piece. I love wearing a jumper, then this on top and on top of it, a big chunky leather jacket. So you have lots of layers going on and you still look um, stylish for winter when it's cold. Uh, so we just layer up and yeah, this is so cool. Um, it's pretty masculine and grungy, um, but I love it. It's gonna go with everything and I feel like it's a jacket that I'll get lots and lots of wear off. This is not something that I picked myself, but I was kindly gifted it by uh, Lindex. Yeah, I just love wearing my hair like this. Okay, then the next accessory is this super beautiful shoulder handbag. It's very squishy and this is what it looks like on your shoulder uh, and you can carry it like this in the crook of your arm. Perfect handbag and I carry it around with me all the time now. So thank you Lindex for this beauty and I believe it only comes in black. I wish they had more colors like white uh, or like a tan colored one. But anyway, the next two pieces, uh, it's actually a set. So it's a knitted spaghetti strap top and a matching ribbed cardigan. It's got tiny little black buttons. So the texture is basically um, black and blue threads, a mix of those two. And yeah, it's just such a beautiful set black jeans, chunky boots, this, and then 
chunky chain necklaces love 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 it um, but I'm gonna put it on so you guys can see what I mean and then lastly the most perfect jeans ever I'm so in love with them um, so I got them in size 36 and these are mom jeans I'm pretty sure these are Pam mom jeans so they're very high waisted they sort of poof out and go in uh, the bottom a little bit and it's just the most perfect blue so this is the t-shirt on and my jeans um, but yeah you can see now what the shoulders look like and I would just wear it in my bag um, obviously this look is for warmer weather but you can put this jacket on top this is what the jeans look like as you can see they're pretty tight around the waist and your bum but then they flare out at the bottom I love them so so much and this is the t-shirt okay so this is with the gray cardi on top and the necklace goes really well with the silver hardware on my belt and then the watch goes really nicely with this whole look I think yeah, I would pair this look with chunky black boots and uh, now I'm gonna put on the blue cardi oh my god how nice is this set I'm absolutely obsessed the top and the cardi this is what it looks like I don't know I currently have a thing for these sets uh, like a knitted uh, spaghetti strap top and a matching cardigan on top I have um, a couple sets like this already and I don't know there's something about these matching sets and again looks very cute with my new Danielle Wellington um, combination this mirror needs a big clean so yeah I'm actually gonna end my vlog here guys and continue cleaning my home really hope you like this vlog and i'm gonna link everything that i mentioned in the info bar so do check it out and i'll see you very soon bye